in this video we will discuss about the eccentric flow through a conduit uh, it will be more on the uh, basic concept and we try to derive the equation okay uh, so what we have learned before is that uh, what happened when you have eccentric change from a reservoir to any point in a conduit uh, uh, where the gas flow from the reservoir to the conduit okay that 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 uh, those uh, those lessons uh, can help us to to relate the condition about the speed uh, what will be the temperature relationship what will be the pressure relationship and what will be the uh, density of gas relationship so now uh, can we calculate uh, what will be the mass flow rate? That's basically the idea. Um, to be able to do that, um, we uh, have to come up with uh, another idea. We assume here, okay, imagine we have here there are three ways, uh, you, you have a reservoir, uh, there are three ways valve here. So, you, so this is your actual nozzle, okay, this is the actual uh, conduit we are, we are discussing. We imagine. It might be excess, it might be not excess. There is another conduit which has, okay, the condition is uh, this conduit we call as uh, the, the critical point. In this critical point, it has the velocity of exactly a sonic velocity. That's why here the mesh number equal to one. And we attributed this condition as a critical, we put a sign star over there. So it also has a cross section area of A star. So now, we'll try to develop relationship between this condition, the critical condition, with any condition in, the, in, in another conduit that probably has a mesh number uh, not equal to, to 1. So another assumption there here uh, is that uh, the critical condition here also having an exactly the same uh, mass flow rate as the one in the conduit we are we are we we are concerning about. So uh, again, uh, this uh, critical condition might be excess, might not be excess, and and the criteria we 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 have we put there is the mass flow rate is equal uh, through the uh, reservoir and through the conduit we are concerning about. Uh, and also through the critical point of there and the um, uh, fluid velocity at the critical point is exactly equal to uh, sonic velocity okay then what we do is that we apply the uh, mass conservation and continuity equation at three points here uh, point of the reservoir point of the conduit we are addressing here we uh, 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 we label it with, with point one and then at the critical point uh, then we can rearrange the equation to find out there. Uh, we by by this correlation we find out uh, there will be a correlation between uh, area at point one and area uh, at the critical point. So next is we then replace terms in this equation using a few equation here. We we replace the density uh, one of the uh, with, with this correlation uh, critical uh, density at the critical point with this correlation velocity at point one with this equation and then with uh, velocity at the critical point with this equation and uh, you will end up with a temperature uh, form in the equation and we then redefine the temperature with this equation and this equation <coughs> If you do it correctly, which I recommend you to try by pausing the video and you try, it might take some time, but uh, if you get it correctly, the, the most uh, physically usable uh, form of the, the, the final equation is this. This equation is basically telling us what will be the ratio of area at point one, the one that we are, we, we are concerned about, to a ratio at the critical condition. Given that at a critical condition the mesh number is equal to one, and the mass velocity is exactly the same as the mass velocity at point one. Okay, so now we have the uh, mass velocity, uh, the, the ratio of area between uh, two points, 
point one and critical condition. But uh, remember that we want to find out the mass flow rate, so it's nothing here uh, as uh, there, there is no uh, form of mass velocity in this equation. That's why uh, those part we will discuss in the in the next slide. Uh, but before we discuss that, uh, so this is the equation that we we just derived before. Uh, and then you can simplify the equation for r by substituting the k value over there to make it much more simple. So this is the uh, uh, the area ratio uh, when the fluid is r. Uh, so this equation is quite uh, interesting. So what I mean is if you try to plot this equation, okay try to link between match number and the area ratio so you find out to that equation so what does it mean so how if i want to increase the velocity uh, through a nozzle what i can do is so look at here is the uh, ratio of a1 to a2 what we do is we reduce the area to be able to increase the velocity we need to decrease the, the area decrease over there but it will reach a point where if you decrease it it won't increase so this is what called as the choking uh, valve choking point so when it when the velocity reach mesh number equal to one to be able to increase the velocity so at the supersonic condition to be able to increase the velocity you need to increase the area this is basically what this equation tell us uh, so based based on this one uh, based on this condition observation we then uh, sorry distinguish three different uh, uh, flow regime if you call it uh, a subsonic regime which is when the mesh number equal uh, less than less than one uh, to get the fluid go faster one so p people must or engineer must reduce the cross section area okay and and the supersonic condition to get the fluid go faster okay the uh, area of the flow must be increased and at sonic velocity it reached the maximum uh, flow velocity uh, in this graph actually we try to um, sorry uh, try to the try to understand what actually happening so we want to increase the velocity okay so this is the graph we aim for so what happened when you start to increase the velocity is that you try to reduce the cross section area here try to reduce the cross section area the velocity increasing increase but by increasing the velocity what happened is that the density decrease the density decrease 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 okay up to this point then you get the maximum here so from this point above the rate of density the the rate of the the, the density decrease is faster than the velocity uh, faster than the increasing rate of the velocity so to be able to go higher the only way is to increase the area uh, this is just a small illustration uh, i know intuitively it is not quite easy to understand this one but uh, you, try your best to imagine what what actually happening here i will try to give you uh, more illustration when we address the practice later on so get back to this condition uh, we remember we try to uh, estimate the mass velocity so remember the condition we put into uh, this graph here we imagine we have a critical condition where the area equal to area critical in this point uh, we have a mesh number equal to one and the mass flow rate of this point equal to mass flow rate uh, in the uh, reservoir and mass flow rate through the point one we are concerned about then from the law of mass conservation we can derive this equation at the critical point and remember that at a critical state a mesh number equal to one so this is basically our equation so what we do next is to substitute the peak uh, the density critical and the velocity critical by using this equation so this is actually the 
a simple equation this is a, a sonic flow and then we have the temperature relationship remember at, may, uh, at the critical point mass number equal to 1 so you have this equation here uh, to get the density here so we use the density equation uh, 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 that link between the reservoir and the, and the critical point uh, mass number equal to 1 so you can simplify the equation here and by substituting all of 1, 2, 3 equation into this equation you will end up with this equation so and then next because uh, we assume uh, the ideal gas behavior we can substitute the term PR here by using this equation uh, you end up with a final equation here so what it is this equation is about this equation is about uh, what will be the ratio of mass so basically uh, mass flux uh, so mass divided by the area uh, at a critical condition uh, the relationship between a mass divided by so mass flux at the critical condition to the temperature of the reservoir of course you can always do simplification for air here by uh, substituting k value equal to 1.4 you'll get a much more simple equation when the fluid is air uh, 